Ryan Bulls here with Shannon County Outdoors. Uh, me and Isaac are going to do some shed hunting today. I had to run back over here to the vehicle because I forgot something. So he'll be. I'm going to go catch up with him here in just a second. I just want to do a small intro, and I'll get back with you guys in just a minute. Guys, it's Ryan Bulls and Isaac with Shannon County Outdoors. We got out here just a little bit late. We're going to see if we can't do some shed hunting. Hopefully we can uh, find one before the day's over. It's uh, February the 6th. It's pouring rain, which makes the horns stand out a lot better against the dark leaves. So maybe we can get out here and find some. We're going to check some fence lines. We're going to check some real rough, brushy stuff and see if they, maybe they're hid up in there somewhere. I mean, look at the stuff around us we're in right now. It's just brush. I mean, just thick, thick brush. And we got all these logs where they're going to have to bounce over some of those because there's some areas where they can't get through them without jumping over that. That'll knock their horns loose when they jump. So hopefully we can find some. We'll get back with you guys if we do. All right, guys, uh, phone messed up there for a second. Ah, uh, sounds like Isaac's found something. Let's go see what he's got. Is it a spike? That's the hardest ones to find. <laughs> Is it big? Oh, briars everywhere. Oh, man, that's a good one. Got him ready. It's like I was talking about. There's a tree right there. He jumped over that tree and knocked his horn off. That's a good one, dude. That's a good bug. How many points you got on that? Let me pick him on the finish of the camera. Look at that thing, guys. That's a good bug. That's probably one thirty class buck if he matches on the other side. Six. Six points on one horn. Hey, check that out. Look, a little garter snake. Oh, that's cool. There, guys. Check this out. Right yeah, I know. Well, it's been it was 70 degrees the other day. Yeah. You have a keen eye out here in the woods. Yep, they tried to bite me. <laughs> I know it won't hurt. But I still don't want to get bit by him. All right, you guys. All right, we'll let him hang out and go on. We can't even try to make himself like look, look like there's more snakes there. Yeah. Anyways, we'll just holler at you if we find another one. All right. Yeah, I'll holler. I'll holler if you, to you if I see one too. All right, we're gonna get out. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Get stop the video here, guys. Um, if we see another one, we'll go ahead and start recording again. So we found a really good place to do some shed hunting here. I guarantee we'll find something in here. Let's check over this way. A little bit. No, Isaac's over there. We'll go over this way. We'll go this way. Oh shit, there's one right there. Got one. one. Shoot, yeah, look at that, guys. That's a thick little horn. I mean, that's a, not a very big buck, but it's real thick. That's really cool. It's got some of that blue stuff on it. And that, that, ooh, it's slimy. Check it out. It's a goofy little buck right there. It's actually a big buck, but it's it's just goofy. Yeah, it's really cool looking. It's so old, dude. That's it's freaking sweet. Shed's been here a while too. Dude. Oh, it's sticky. That's a sweet buck. Yeah. No, my phone's about to die, so we're gonna stop it. If we find some more, we'll let you know. It's been a long day. It's been. We're tired. We found two sheds. Isaac found the big boy. That is a huge, huge buck right there, guys. Sit down there on the center console. You guys can get a good idea of what it looks like. And then I found, which isn't a bad buck. It's just not, it wouldn't score very high, but he's got a lot of mass. It's a pretty cool looking little horn. But, yeah, so, pretty eventful day. Uh, I maybe. Did, I did find two other sheds before me and Ryan got together and got to go, but... That just wasn't worth bringing. I mean, they were still pretty big, but they just chewed up by squirrels and just, just nothing. It was just average deer. Well, we're going to try to pick this back up tomorrow, maybe. I don't know if Isaac will be able to go with us, but I know for sure that Brandon will be with us more than likely, and maybe Braden. Uh, hopefully, Isaac can come with us. That'd be awesome. Have more boots on the ground. So I'm going to 
searching some more, uh, searching some more areas. Uh, we're going to a big field. We're not coming back to the same spot tomorrow. Uh, we're going to a huge, huge field, so it's going to take forever unless we get enough people to search this whole area. It's a time we're probably going to have to leave at, at least seven in the morning to be able to cover the whole ground by four o'clock to get home for the kids to be home. We'll so, probably come back here around April, well, mid-April. Yeah, that's when I'm going to start searching all the private property that I've got is around mid-April uh, to see if we can find any sheds out around there. Uh, but if you like the video, like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you want to see us do next. God bless you all. Have a good day from Shannon County Outdoors. All my rowdy country friends around here. The holler, build a fire, drink a beer We slip out to the field, climb a tree, shoot a deer I reminisce about these days, man, I get a chill We keep our trucks lifted up so high We gotta lock them down in a four-wheel drive Sideways in a mud hole, that's just how it goes round here Now I'm talking about the southern land Grab a six-pack, sun gold, hop in the back Everybody around here know where the party's at. Then a real long road on private land. Passed down to me from my old.